Good morning, dear students. Today we are talking about uh, Unit 2, Entitled Environment. The first item we are dealing with is vocabulary and collocations. Collocations means either two nouns matching together, or a verb and noun matching together, or an adjective and noun matching together. The first example is open spaces noise pollution, then cosmopolitan atmosphere, then crime rate, detached house, rush hour, stunning views. Then we continue with other examples of collocation, such as apartment block, abandoned cars, abandoned means left. Transport connections, mindless vandalism. Vandalism is destruction, and mindless means without thinking. Rash. Then we have traffic congestion, which is traffic jam. That's all for this item. Now we come to another item entitled synonyms. The synonym is a noun which has or a noun which has different meanings, or the same meanings, or a verb also, a noun, a verb, adjective, a word that has different meanings, the same meanings of the words, which is synonyms. For example, the synonym of results is findings, discoveries. Survey means poll. Subjects often discussed or argued about, this is issues or questions. Again, size and level has the synonym of scale. We have another idiom which has become unaffected by, which is a passage said, uh, put as develop immunity to, means not to be affected by. Closely connected with means related to or in the passage is written as synonymous with. Then not thinking about other people's feeling, which is referred to as lack of consideration or inconsideration. Another one, another point or another word is or another word is something very important is priority. That is the most important thing. We have another item dealing with uh, the definitions. For example, the, the definition eating of food at all for a period of time. The term referring to it is fast. Then a group of animals or plants with the same kind, the species, an animal that is hunted and eaten by another animal is prey. Young bears, lions and tigers referred to as cubs. Again, the synonym that refers to the animals that feed their young with milk from their body is mammals, relating to the sea and creatures that live there is uh, marine or maritime or naval. That's for the synonyms. We come to another item, which is word combinations, having the same meaning of uh, collocations again, like climate change, two nouns matching together, false impression, adjective and noun, scientific journal, adjective and noun, global warming, adjective and noun, satellite images, two nouns, matching together, significant effect, this adjective noun, which means it's a very important effect. We come to the grammatical item, which is entitled present, perfect, simple, and continuous. 
as for the first one present perfect simple tense it deals with uh, what is formed by having has or have plus the past parts of the main verb that is to say example i have finished the assignment for two days so we use this tense to refer to a completed action or situation that has an effect at the present time like the car is ready so i have already washed it the car is ready this is the result and i have already washed it this is the present perfect tense as far as the second tense is concerned which is the present perfect continuous tense it is here the word continuous is clear so it's formed by having have or has plus been plus verb plus ing like for example john has been telling us about climate change for many hours so we use the present perfect continuous tense to talk about a continuous situation or action that started in the past and still continuing up till now like the example i have already said john has been telling us about climate change for many hours that's for this these two tenses we come to the last item of grammar which is entitled indirect question indirect question is referred to as a question inside another question or statement like for example what is the answer do you know we have here two questions so we start with the second one and say do you know what the question is here we have the indirect question what the question is it's not really a question but it's an indirect question we don't say do you know what is the answer another example is do you know where the post office is we don't say do you know where is the post office other examples are as such what is the biggest volcano in the usa this is a direct question i would like to know what the biggest volcano in the usa is this is an indirect question what causes a volcano to interrupt this is a this is a direct question we start with an introductory phase like can you tell me what causes a volcano to interrupt this is an indirect question that's all for this time inshallah we meet you again in the following weeks thank you very much